Okay, so we're going to show how to remove ethanol from gasoline uh, and do it safely, easily, and essentially at zero cost. Okay, for that we're going to need two empty bottles of soda and uh, this can be scaled up to any quantity but in this case I'm just going to make enough to run a chainsaw for some good period of time. So to start with, we're going to put water in one of those bottles and I'm going to fill it up to this line. This is going to give us an idea how much ethanol is going to be extracted from the gasoline. So I'm going to get water in it. Okay, so we have water just about to this line, so we can estimate how much alcohol we got out. Now we're going to take and fill the rest of the bottle with gasoline. This is just regular gasoline, which should be plenty good for a chainsaw. And obviously, everybody has their own gas can. Okay, this should be enough for the purpose of this demonstration. Put this thing aside for a moment. You can see the gasoline is kind of yellowish and floating at the top. The water is at the bottom. So this is not the end of it. I'm just going to close the gas can because we don't want to leave it open. Side. Now we're going to put back the <clears throat> lid and we're going to agitate this thing. What happens at this point, the alcohol dissolves in the water a lot red, easier than in gasoline. So now the alcohol is going to separate from the gasoline, dissolve in water, and it's going to drop to the bottom. Now you can see that this was filled with water up to this line. Now we see the light colored liquid went quite a bit up. And this is the amount of uh, ethanol that has been extracted from the gasoline. Now you notice that the gasoline actually is kind of cloudy. And that's the, re the reason is there are still, there's still water dispersed in it and we couldn't use it like this. Typically what you have to do is to leave it uh, still for, you know, overnight or 24 hours. And what's going to happen, all the water is going to drop to the bottom 
and the gasoline is going to become crystal clear and we're going to see the uh, separate gasoline and water. Now the trick is how we take the water, the gasoline out and separate it without taking any water with it and uh, taking essentially most of it in a safe way without spilling gasoline and causing all kinds of uh, unpleasant side effects. I'm going to separate the gasoline now uh, as is for the for benefit of saving time. But if you want to really do it and use the gasoline, you have to uh, actually allow it to settle and only when it becomes crystal clear and transparent, separate it. So the way to do this, uh, you know, some people propose to just turn this thing around, let the water settle at the bottom, and then open the, uh, uh, open the bottle, let this thing run until all the water is out and some gasoline, and uh, then you're left with clean gasoline. That's perfectly okay. The only problem is when we're going to spill gasoline around, that's not particularly safe, and it's certainly unpleasant. We want to avoid that kind of stuff. We want to do it, to separate it very well without spilling any gasoline. The other possibility is to actually to siphon the gasoline out. And the way we can do that, we need a piece of tubing, you know, really very simple tubing. Take, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, in order not to have the bottle spill on it, on me, I'm going to put actually in the vise to keep it steady so I can move things around. Don't have to put a lot of pressure, just to keep it from falling over. Now, what we can do, we can take this a piece of uh, polyethylene tubing. We can put it in and kind of, you know, try to bring it, uh, why don't you come to this side to see the, you know, hold it just above the water, and now we can siphon the gasoline out. The only problem is that this may involve taking a sip of gasoline, which is not really very tasty nor healthy. So we want to actually be able to do that without drinking gasoline. Also, if we hold this uh, tubing here, we may inadvertently drop it into the water and get some water with it out, which is not good. In order to avoid that, we have to do a very simple thing. This uh, tubing, as I said, is polyethylene. It is pretty stiff. And uh, what you do, you take the cover of the bottle and drill two holes quarter of an inch in diameter, and which is about the same diameter as the tubing. This gives us the benefit of, we will put a tubing through. The most important thing now is that we can set it, set it accurately to the level we need and not worry about the tubing actually dipping into the water and taking water out when we don't want to do that. So maybe it will come from this side. So we can take it and carefully push it down and put it, you know, the sixteenth of an inch or even less above the surface of the water. So now this tubing cannot go into the water. If we're going to siphon the gasoline out, we're going to just siphon gasoline. Now the real trick here is how we prime the, uh, the siphon without drinking gasoline. And the answer is this, we take an additional piece of tubing, a short one, and we take it and we stick it into the second hole we drill, just put it in. It is not even necessary to have perfect seal or anything like that. Now we take another bottle where we want to collect the gasoline in, put the tubing in there, and just blow a little bit into the other tubing. This actually primes the siphon and there was absolutely no risk of drinking gasoline. Now the gasoline is draining 
into the collection bottle, it is going to be clear, pure gasoline. Not this one, because again, I didn't allow it to separate well enough, but uh, this is essentially the entire process. Now, the, when the process is complete, the flow of gasoline is going to stop. So it got to almost to the surface of the water and it gets there. Now it's flow of gasoline stop. This is complete. We lift this thing to allow the whatever is in the tubing to go back into the bottle and not flow outside. And this completes the process. Now you can use this gasoline, not this one, but the one you're going to let it settle right for whatever you need. Now the, this process can be easily scaled to very large quantities, and I'll show you how. For instance, if I needed many gallons of this stuff, I actually I found a discarded large water bottle. So now you can repeat exactly the same process, but just with larger diameter tubing that you can put it in and drill a small hole for the additional tubing. And this is going to give you about, you know, four and a half, five gallons of gasoline. I don't need that much because I only use this thing to run a chainsaw but you have to run a generator or something more serious than that. This is how you can scale it up to large quantities. So that's really the bottom line. The cost for the entire thing is essentially, uh, yeah, I have to give up the 10 cents we could gotten for the bottles, but uh, that, and you have some tubing laying around, that should be it. So it's perfectly safe, no gasoline being drunk, and uh, actually extremely effective, much better than the, you know, complicated devices you may find online for this purpose. All right, thank you.